Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming to the stage Aliyah Liebenau. So, uh, I just want to talk about um, my boyfriend. Um, so, my boyfriend and I have been dating for about six months. We celebrated our, sorry to be cheesy, but we set up, celebrated our six month anniversary yesterday. Sorry, I know, I know, it's totally stupid, it's totally stupid. So, but when I originally, when I met him, I thought, oh, what a babe. Like, balding, beard, like, what a babe. So, I just, I, I just was impressed. But then, when I, when I met him, uh, we had um, quite a bit of things in common. We liked watching bad 80s horror movies, and... Um, just hanging out, playing like role-playing games, like tabletop games, and it was fun, it was fun. Um, but then, weeks later, uh, I find we, we got to know each other, and, we re and I realized, got to that point that we don't really have that much in common. I'll give you an example. Um, I am not a big fan of uh, politics or science. I'm more of a, oh, I'd hate it. It's boring as all hell. I'm sorry. No. I'm the kind of person that just loves reality TV show. I love top, you know, top 40 pop. I'm that girl. And he's the kind of guy that just, he's just, he is an introvert. He likes to read. He loves reading. And so he just likes to be by himself. And so I didn't know that at the time. And, you know, I, I grew to accept that. Well, um, like every relationship, we have to get, I mean, we don't have to, but we, we get intimate. And um, <laughs> I found out that my boyfriend that is 28 years old has never uh, had sex. You know my pain, you, you know it. So I found out that he's never had sex and I'll let you know that I've, you know, I, I lost my virginity at 17. So like I'm, you know, I know a thing or two about that. So I, I had to look at it either two way, either one, you know, two ways. Either it's gonna be really fun for me or it's gonna be just really disgusting and gross. One of the two. I decided to choose to let him pleasure me and teach him the ropes. <laughs> so, I didn't realize I had to teach him everything. So I had to basically, you know, I mean like I had to like, oh, this is what you, you, you gotta cuddle with me and he's awkward. And then I had to teach him how to like, I had to teach him how to like do stuff to me. Like, I had to teach him how to finger me. It's really awkward. <laughs> I, had to, I was like, yeah, you just finger me. And he, because he's so weird, he's like, you mean finger blast? <laughs> yes, finger blast. So, <laughs> yeah. So I had to, so I taught him and it was fun. And then the, the actual penetration happened about a week later. And I remember we're just about to get into it and he, he put it in and he's just, and I'm like, I, I literally said, is it in? Cause, let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. I've been doing this since I was 17 years old. So I know a thing or two about dicks. So, I mean, I, unfortunately, like, now, I, I mean, he, a lot of the guys I had been with previously had very large penises and more than, like, larger than usual. And his was average. I mean, like, an average nice, nice penis. So, but I wasn't used to that. So I was like, oh, is it in? That's why, so you understand now. <laughs> so the first time, and I feel bad, because I he's so great, but at the same time, it's like, it was, once I said, is it in, it was, he's like, oh, I'm already done. It was a minute, it was a minute. 
I know. My pa you understand my pain. So I was like, you know what? I like this guy way too much. I'm going to try and work this out. So we've been trying and trying and trying to make the sex last longer. And it, and it really only lasted five minutes. And I'm used to at least 30 minutes to an hour. I get down. So, you know, I'm used to that. So I was like, I got to figure this out. I got to figure this out. So we tried so many different things to, get, to make it last longer. We tried um, drinking. Oh, there's a thing called whiskey dick. I don't know if you've heard of that before. <laughs> it's bad. So that didn't work out. We tried drugs, tr marijuana, marijuana, didn't work. We both just got really high instead. <laughs> so that didn't work. So I figured, okay, okay, I gotta figure something, maybe like Viagra or something, like some sort of like gel or something that will make it last longer. So for Valentine's Day, I bought him a, um, this long lasting gel. And it was supposed to just numb his, his genitals, and, which is great, which is great. I was like, Shh, yes, I'll buy seven of those. So I bought it, and Valentine's Day, it was great. I was like, I told him about it. I thought it was, he, it was gonna be great. I was like, it's gonna last like 20 minutes, maybe an hour. I don't know, I was so happy. Well, we usually have sex in the dark, and I don't know, you know. And so we have, you know, we usually have sex in the dark, but unfortunately that night, when we used the gel, it said to use a pea size, the size of a pea, but since we have sex in the dark, that pea size looked like a quarter. So I put the, so a quarter size is a lot larger than a pea size when you're numbing your dick and balls. <laughs> So we put it on and we started having sex. And he's like, Leah, I can't feel anything. <laughs> and I'm like, what? and then we then my hands started numbing his thighs, my thighs. Oh. <sighs> yeah, so it didn't work out. But the next day, the very next day, I was like, we gotta try. I was so motivated because he is so great orally that I was like, we got to figure this out. Because I'm just saying. So anyways, so I was, the next night, I was like, okay, so you want to try the gel again? He's like, no. <laughs> okay. So then we started having, we started, you know, having sex like usual. Nothing, not a big deal. But because my boyfriend and I are so awkward, uh, we, we tend to make fun of things in general. And so uh, we started making fun of uh, like the hardcore porn actors where they're just like, where they talk and they, you know, just like, oh yeah, you fucking love that. Like that's, we, we think is so funny. It's so funny. So while I'm uh, in the doggy position, I want you to imagine that. So <laughs> I'm in the doggy position and he's talking to me. He's like, oh, you fucking love that bitch. And I'm like, yeah. You fucking love my cock. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm in it. I'm already in it and done. So I just, it's fun. And I'm just like, we're laughing. And, and then we had this, well, I would say that he definitely had the eureka moment where he's like, Aaliyah, this is working. This is working. It's like, what? He's like, no, I'm actually concentrating. Like, I'm not like getting excited. Like, I'm not about to, you know, and I'm like, oh my God. I was so happy. But then I was like, I was thinking, I was like, well, how are we supposed to make this last longer? How are we supposed to make it last longer? And I was like thinking and thinking, and I was like, what is one thing that he can talk about for hours that I think is so goddamn boring? <laughs> let me show you, let me, let me show you what happened that night, what he talked about. I was like, <laughs> again, in doggy position still, he, I'm like, I, T, will you talk to me about science? He's like, yeah, of course. And I'm just like, oh. He's like, what, what should I talk about? I was like, talk to me about what an atom is. <laughs> he, he, 
He wrote this down so I wouldn't sound fucking stupid. <laughs> an atom consists of a nucleus and an electron. Ugh. The nucleus is made up of equal parts of protons and neutrons. Thank you. It was, it was, that alone, that one night lasted 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, but I, <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> but I definitely, um, <laughs> it was, no, I mean like now that I, we've come to the conclusion that we definitely have to communicate with each other and we still, t we still talk about, we still talk about stuff. Like, I don't even, we just, we still talk to each other, even, it, you know, sex wise. And it's, we, like oh, the other night we talked for 15 minutes during it. So like, we understand we can last longer and we both have accepted each other for our weird issues. And so it's definitely, we've brought the two together and we've figured out what was wrong. But that was the story. Thank you. <laughs>